Yeah, Jachan, see you in Spain. To Puria. CSO, okay. Hill, Alex, storyline goes hard if they market it good. It does, yeah. They have to market it well, though, right? With the good marketing, they can actually pull that off as a good fight. You know what, chat? I'm not too angry about UFC 300. It's a great card. Hopefully, UFC 301 is a great card as well. Hopefully, we get some good fight night events around then, too. I'm not too mad about it. Too many women's bouts, I completely agree. Not the best main event, I completely agree. But I'm hyped as fuck for Alex Pereira, Jamal Hill. That's a sick fight. But it's just, like, you know, it's not UFC 300. And the only problem is Dana White over-fucking-promised. That's the problem. He over-promised massively. Massively over-promised. Thank you for the two dollars. The last time Colby beat a one seventy pounder in their prime, <laughs> RDA. Thank you for the two pounds. You can't say RDA wasn't a good one seventy pounder. He was literally fighting for an interim title, and he was the number one contender in the world. And the Usman fights as well. RDA wasn't in his prime. He kind of was though. You guys just consider primes winners or losers. Like, if they lose a fight, they're not in their prime. If they win a fight, they are in their prime. This is the retarded shit. Masvidal's prime was lightweight. You know what I mean? People talk about Holloway's prime like the Ortega fight, you know, chat. Or Holloway's prime is now. Holloway's prime is not the Ortega fight. He looked shit against Ortega. And I'll stand by that as well. He looked fucking shit up until the... Um, even in the first Volk fight, he looked shit as well. He wasn't the level he was at going into the second fight or the third. Not at all. How's his prime now? Look at Holloway fight. It's not about performances. It, it's not about uh, wins or losses. Look at how they fight. Holloway fighting now is way better than the Holloway that fought Ortega. Way better. The way he throws punches, the way he throws kicks. Against Ortega, he was literally throwing arm punches, chin first, wading forward against him. It was not the same level as the, the Cater fight or anything like that. Not at all. Holloway was nowhere near his prime in the Ortega fight. He was awful in that fight. Slept zombie. He did. Now is his prime. I think now is his prime. I wouldn't say prime. I'd say more skilled than ever. Shut up, man, you little dweeb. You wouldn't say prime, you'd say more skilled than ever. Dude, more skilled than ever is his prime. It's not like he's lost his chin or anything like that. No, wouldn't say prime, I'd say more skilled than ever. That's his prime, dude. Especially if his chin ain't gone and he ain't losing every fight. Holloway's, Holloway's in his prime now. This is Holloway's prime. Never seen him throw kicks like this in his career ever before. Ever before. His boxing is way better. His movement, footwork is way better. I don't think he's lost some speed. I don't think he's lost speed. I think his opponents have gotten faster. Thank you for the five Australian dollars. Habib didn't want to fight GSP at a catch weight because it doesn't make sense to do it above 155. Fake go. He was a fake go. They were trying to make a catchweight fight between him and GSP, and Khabib wanted him at 155. Why? Can we really fucking put that into perspective, please? Why is, does Khabib get praise? Dipped out after two title defenses. The Ally Quinta title fight was a fucking interim belt, if I've ever seen one. Got the belt against McGregor, defended twice, and then wanted GSP at 155 or he wouldn't fight him. He's a pussy, man. Champion, yes. Goat? No way. Fuck off. I think if we start calling Habib a goat, it sets a bad precedent for uh, UFC. Khabib didn't want to fight. I've already read that one. A historical first, no American UFC current champions. Sure. That's crazy, right? Who's all hope? Same. Do you think Volk's chin is gone for good? No, I don't think his chin is gone for good. I think his chin has always been there to be cracked. It's just no one at Featherweight has that level of heat that he's fought. Khabib retired because of his mum. Is she selfish? I'm just going to... I don't care about that, the reason he retired or anything like that. I don't even get into it. Fuck Khabib. He's not a GOAT and he doesn't deserve to be mentioned because he took no risk. 
He dipped out after two legitimate title defenses against someone who people don't want to be taken down against him. And he didn't even make weight for one of them. They cheated the fucking scale. So, you know what I mean? I'm kind of over Habib as a fucking fighter in general. I don't give a fuck about him. Two defenses. Oh, wow. Thank you for the five pounds. They wanted Alex versus Izzy for 300. Will Tapuria ever lose or retire early like Habib? I hope not. You know what I've... My main takeaway from UFC 298, and maybe this is a bad thing and shows how fucking hate-filled I am. Fuck Habib, dude. That's my main takeaway from UFC 298. Fuck Habib. What a fucking bitch, dude. I don't want to fucking hear about him ever again. Two fucking title defenses and dips. You ain't a fucking champ. Like, end of discussion. You're barely a champ. You ain't a goat. No way. We saw you fight a bunch of people that didn't want to be taken down. <laughs> Shut up, bitch. Three title defenses, dude. Yes or no, chat. The unification was against McGregor. That fucking Ally Quinter fucking belt was interim as fuck. I don't give a fuck what anyone says. That belt. But yeah, this whole this whole pay per view this weekend, chat. I was literally laying there in bed trying to get some sleep, and I was thinking to myself, "Man, fuck Habib, man. Honestly, fuck Habib. I'm not even. I don't care anymore, dude. Fuck Habib." Like, I don't care. I don't want to hear it anymore, man. Dude, don't risk... He didn't risk shit in his career, man, as a champ. All champs risk shit in the sport. And Habib set a standard to just fucking pussy out, man. So fucking lame. <sighs> UFC needs an open weight. Never lost. First seen his awful striker. I'm absolutely in agreement with you. One-footed McGregor shut down Habib's grappling for a whole round. This is the annoying thing, though where I'm literally trying to explain to people, McGregor stuffed all offensive grappling from Habib in round one. Habib had no effective grappling against McGregor in round one. Stop saying that Habib would ragdoll like heavyweights. He would be sad, yeah. MMA math is retarded. This guy beat this guy who beat this guy. So this guy should definitely beat this guy. It's not that his styles though, in it? But yeah, MMA math is retarded. But what you've got to do is MMA algebra. Chat, yes or no, MMA math does work. I know it gets shit on a lot, but it only gets shit on in the one in four times it doesn't work out. MMA math overall massively works in MMA. MMA algebra is the way to go about it, though. Smart MMA math. Not just dumb, well, you know, this guy beat Pat Sabatini, so Pat Sabatini beats Makashev. No, no bullshit like that, but most of the time, MMA math pays off and works. People just trash on it because th there's a population of the MMA community that don't make picks and then act like they fucking know it all after a fight happens. Ah! No, the fuck, man, see bad take. No, MMA math works. 100% it works. The styles definitely come into play as well, but on average, it works. On average, it works. You've got to study tape, of course, but yeah. Yeah, if you, if, I'd rather use MMA math than not use MMA math to predict a fight. You literally say styles make fights? Yeah, on the exceptions. On the exceptions, styles make fights. And you have to go above and beyond MMA math. But I'm saying on average, it's a part of your prediction. It should be. It should be a part of your prediction. This guy's beaten this level of competition. This guy has lost to this level of competition. As a general spectrum, it should be a part of your prediction. But then what you do is you go one beyond it and you start breaking down styles and you start breaking down this and this and other stuff. But on average, it should definitely be a part of it. But people just trash on it too much. It's a factor, but not concrete. It's exactly what I said. So no one disagrees with me in chat, even though they think they do. It's just cool to disagree with Guru these days. It's fun. Um, I watched UFC 298 with casuals from New Zealand. Only fighter they knew was Volk, but somehow also talked about Ian's wife writing the wag book. 